Introduction Welcome, medical students, to today's lecture on the intricate topic of hormone signaling pathways. In this comprehensive script, we will delve into the fascinating world of various hormones and their interactions within the human body. We will explore the molecular mechanisms, physiological effects, and clinical significance of each hormone signaling pathway. So, let's embark on this enlightening journey through the following topics. Insulin, the primary hormone responsible for regulating blood glucose levels, plays a crucial role in maintaining metabolic homeostasis. When released by pancreatic beta cells, insulin binds to its receptor on target cells, initiating a signaling cascade. This cascade involves autophosphorylation of the receptor, recruitment of insulin receptor substrate proteins, and activation of downstream signaling molecules such as PEAK-ACK pathway and MOP pathway. These cascades ultimately result in glucose uptake, glycogen synthesis, and inhibition of gluconeogenesis. Glucagon, secreted by pancreatic alpha cells, opposes the actions of insulin. It stimulates glycogen breakdown, gluconeogenesis, and ketogenesis in the liver, thereby increasing blood glucose levels. On the other hand, GLP-1, glucagon-like peptide 1, is an incretin hormone released by intestinal enteroendocrine cells. GLP-1 enhances insulin secretion, inhibits glucagon release, slows gastric emptying, and promotes satiety. The signaling pathways of both glucagon and GLP-1 involve G-protein-coupled receptors and intracellular effector mechanisms. Epinephrine, adrenaline, and norepinephrine, noradrenaline, are catecholamines produced by the adrenal glands. They play critical roles in the body's response to stress and exert profound effects on multiple organ systems. Through the activation of adrenergic receptors, alpha and beta subtypes, these hormones elicit various responses, including increased heart rate, elevated blood pressure, bronchodilation, and glycogenolysis. The intricate adrenergic signaling pathways involve camp generation, protein kinase activation, and calcium mobilization. Growth hormone, GH, produced by the anterior pituitary gland, regulates growth, metabolism, and cellular processes. GH acts through its receptor to activate Janus kinase, JAK signal transducer and activator of transcription, STAT, pathway. Additionally, GH stimulates the production of insulin-like growth factor 1, IGF-1, in various tissues, which further mediates its growth-promoting effects. The intricate GH signaling pathways encompass multiple downstream effectors involved in growth regulation, protein synthesis, and lipid metabolism. Cortisol, a glucocorticoid hormone released by the adrenal cortex, plays a critical role in controlling stress responses, metabolism, and immune function. Upon binding to its intracellular receptor, cortisol influences gene expression by interacting with specific response elements. Cortisol modulates glucose metabolism, suppresses inflammation, regulates blood pressure, and affects various organ systems. The complex intracellular pathways of cortisol involve nuclear translocation, DNA binding, and modulation of gene transcription. Thyroid hormones, triiodothyronine, T3, and thyroxine, T4, are synthesized and released from the thyroid gland. They regulate metabolism, growth, and development in virtually every body tissue. The thyroid hormone signaling pathway involves the binding of T3 to its nuclear receptor, resulting in altered gene expression and metabolic rate. Intracellular thyroid hormone transport, conversion of T4 to T3, and feedback regulation mechanisms are integral components of this intricately regulated system. Leptin, primarily produced by adipose tissue, serves as a major regulator of energy homeostasis and appetite. Binding of leptin to its receptor in the hypothalamus activates the JAK-STAT signaling pathway, leading to appetite suppression, increased energy expenditure, and enhanced insulin sensitivity. Dysregulation of leptin signaling has been associated with obesity and metabolic disorders. Adiponectin, another adipose tissue-derived hormone, displays insulin sensitizing, anti-inflammatory, and cardioprotective effects. Through its receptors, adiponectin activates AMP-activated protein kinase, AMPK, and peroxisome proliferator-activated receptor alpha, per alpha, pathways, influencing glucose and lipid metabolism. Adiponectin levels are inversely correlated with obesity and insulin resistance. Gastrin and cholecystokinin, CCK, are examples of gastrointestinal hormones that regulate digestion, nutrient absorption, and appetite control. Gastrin, produced by stomach G-cells, stimulates gastric acid secretion, while CCK, secreted by the small intestine, stimulates bile release from the gallbladder and pancreatic enzyme secretion. The signaling pathways of these hormones involve G-protein-coupled receptors and downstream second messenger systems. Ghrelin, predominantly synthesized by stomach cells, 
is known as the hunger hormone due to its orexigenic effects. Ghrelin stimulates appetite, gastric motility, and growth hormone release. The ghrelin receptor signaling pathway involves activation of G-protein coupled receptors and subsequent modulation of second messenger cascades, including the camp pka pathway. Estrogen and testosterone are sex hormones that regulate reproductive function, sexual development, and secondary sexual characteristics. Estrogen, predominantly produced by the ovaries, exerts its effects through estrogen receptors, influencing gene expression and cellular processes. Testosterone, primarily synthesized by the testes, binds to androgen receptors, modulating various physiological functions, including muscle growth, bone density, and libido. Polypeptide hormones, such as amylin and pancreatic polypeptide, are involved in the regulation of appetite, glucose metabolism, and pancreatic functions. Amylin, co-secreted with insulin by pancreatic beta cells, regulates postprandial glucose levels and satiety. Pancreatic polypeptide, synthesized by pancreatic PP cells, influences pancreatic exocrine secretion and satiety signaling. The intricate pathways underlying the actions of these polypeptide hormones are still being elucidated. In conclusion, understanding the complex signaling pathways of various hormones is crucial for comprehending their physiological effects and clinical implications. Through this comprehensive script, we have explored the intricate mechanisms underlying hormone signaling across multiple organ systems. Remember, hormone signaling is a dynamic and interconnected web, serving as a remarkable testament to the elegance and complexity of the human body.